stop you because this is such a long piece. First of all, bravo, the two of you. Beautiful. Beautiful play. You're, you're a great cellist. I mean, you have everything in the cello that we could possibly want for. So all I can I discuss a few things about the music. Um, the first adagio is a, is a problem. And the problem becomes crystal clear at the end. And the very last uh, bar, I noticed the last three bars, neither of you kept the time as long as Beethoven indicated it. And I don't think Beethoven made a mistake, and I don't blame you, <laughs> because it's so long. Right. Because it, when you think how long it is, uh, just play the di da do da do di ba one two. Now play before the end. One two three four five five bars with the upbeat. One two three four. One two three four five six seven. Eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because <laughs> there's a pause. When I was a cellist many years ago, I used to play the piece like you did, and like everybody does, like that. But then I looked at those rests and I said, it's not possible. He cannot amend, which is why so many cellists and pianists shorten the rest. But there's another solution. Maybe the tempo we're taking is too slow. Because here's a very important question that musicians have to ask. When a composer writes adagio, or adagio sostenuto, what is he referring to? What unit of music is adagio? In this case, what is it? Um, it sounds like eight notes. It sounds like eighth notes, but that's not what it is. Yeah. It's quarter notes. quarter notes. And therefore, if you play it in quarter notes, the piece completely changes. It becomes a different animal. So you've got, at the beginning, you ha if you just jump on a moment, you've got Four. That's an adagio in four. So should we try that and see what happens? All right, let's try it from the beginning. Yeah. Can I suggest that you do a real forte piano? The way to do this, I'm not a pianist, but you play the note and, and then you catch it with the pedal. Then there's a forte piano. And you also, you're doing a diminuendo instead of a forte piano. Three. <gasps> Can you do that where you catch it with the pedal? Just try that alone. Yeah, that even more. You catch it where well, you'll work on that. You'll get that. It's a nice effect, forte piano effect. Yeah, once again. So three, four, and one. And Jayang, can I suggest this is not pianissimo and it's not even piano, it's piano espressivo. So something quite sound. <laughs> try that. So try one more time from the beginning. Great. Yes.
Yeah, let me just show a beautiful thing here. Such a beautiful thing. Look here, do you see this? This is not an upbeat. This is... That's in one slur. And then John Also this. Rinforzando means to reinforce the whole phrase. So this is pianissimo. Should we try that from there? Let's measure five. Yeah, and the crescendo is in the piano too. I think you have to make it together. Yeah, can you make it very sung to Payal, do you see how much easier it is to sing that at, a, at that tempo? Because it's a song, it's an actual song. And I would suggest you to... Just do from there. And if you imagine you were singing that alone, Look, I'm making a suggestion here for you to explore, and you're going to see what you do with it. So let's go with this idea that this is an adagio in four, not in eight, and play that tune alone. And as you would sing it if you were alone, uh, you know, if you were singing. <laughs> Good, beautiful. And you help him by mood. Viola and second violin in the quartet. So you go from there, three, four. You can help her by moving through with the 16th so she isn't stuck on these notes. Can I, I, I don't have another piano, but... Or, yeah, you, you heard one, aren't you? Also reinforced So it's a song. Should I try that? And you help out. Three. You know what you get when that happens? You get the wonderful feeling of one long falling line. Try once again. Three. Can I suggest instead of die yum bum, you think bum 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 bum? So you help her think through the long note.
yeah. Good, good, beautiful. Don't hold back. It's a song. It's a beautiful song, like Floristan singing, you know. Just and the, listen to this operatic accompaniment. Do it from there. You do. Just try it once, see if you can make three, four, and... Yes. Very important, when you have a dotted rhythm, if you take time, the little note always remains quick. Or like that. Should we try from there? No, right, she, he'll find it. Yeah, yeah, nothing, nothing pretty here, yeah, nothing but boom, but oh, bo, but oh, to do, to do. not short. Where is why are the short notes? They're long. Good, good, good. Let's try from here, from from here one more time. Good, good. Look, this is like a different cure. You have a, you're, you're approaching the piece very clearly. You have a clear idea. I'm presenting another idea. And it's like going to a doctor and saying, no, don't do that. Try this cure. Right, so you try it. Okay, now here, when you do this, the trouble with these short things, it makes it very um, f uh, too, too, care, too uh, um, frivolous. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? They're not. Oh, uh uh. Do from here.
We try from there. I'm sorry, I'm not a pianist, so I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an end, and then it moves. Pa 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 pee. Uh, from here. Twenty-eight. Yeah, from the E flat. <laughs> So, something to think about. Something to, it's a totally different way of approaching the piece, and it may be what he has in mind. When somebody writes adagio, you have to ask the question, adagio what? In this case, adagio quarter note. And it makes it, of course, infinitely more expressive, more sung, more dramatic event. Than, now, you're not used to it because you haven't heard it, but that's one of the reasons you come here. Yeah. Right, to explore that and to find out what it might be like. Now, just the beginning, we don't have time more because we have a whole string quartet, but just do the opening. He writes, Allegro molto, piuttosto presto. That is fast. How fast is it? As fast as you can play, or as fast as your pianist can play. <laughs> 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 Three. <laughs> Thank you. 
If you have a pianist, if you have a pianist as good as that, why wouldn't you play it that way? Beethoven was the greatest pianist in Europe at that time. Nobody could play as well as he could. I think you could. <laughs> uh, but the, the question of the adagio is very crucial because the, uh, this is great. I mean, this is obviously fast, uh, presto. The adagio in four is a different piece. You're going to have to think about that. But when you do, think about those rests and realize how much more sense they make at that tempo. And then also, like a singer, imagine singing. Do you sing? In the shower, for instance, you sing? Yes. If you do, I doubt you would sing it at the tempo that you played it. A singer would never do that, because it's kind of unnatural to be that slow. And why, actually? All right? Great. Bravo. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Beautiful. Now, string quartet. Wow. That's a shocking new thought. 